idea. Uh, how much of the breeding dog we know from cat farms? They're about six, seven weeks old. We've been giving this species at Jerome for over 20 years now, but these individuals, or at least their parents, came from Wanuna and South, uh, down in Wollongong, South Sydney. Uh, it was a housing estate, and when they bought the estate, we were asked to collect a few individuals, keep them as a insurance population. And now we're going out, the, the ponds are established and introduced these tadpoles back to where their parents came from. And during the 70s and 80s, they went into a steep decline of the species of the frog, they're really the old frog. In the last five, eight years, populations that have survived seem to have stabilised. Uh, animals in some populations are even starting to, to, uh, to, to increase the populations. Tadpoles are designed to be food for birds, long neck tortoises, uh, fish. So you know, you don't, you don't, you don't expect 100 percent to survive by any means. And in a healthy population, if a few percent survive, that would be excellent. So yeah, if we get a few dozen, perhaps a couple of hundred would be really nice to, to metamorphose and turn into adults. That'd be a real success story if we ended up with a couple of hundred adults. And that's the Green and Gold Belfort project. But here at Toronto, we're looking and keeping and breeding uh, a few other species of endangered frog, notably the corroboree frog from the highlands of New South Wales. We have, we've been working with burrowing frogs, a, a, a rocky stream frog from the southern highlands. And recently we started a project with the yellow spot.